Hi, Bruce from Safari. We're here to look at our new, what we call our Jupiter wall kit, and it's designed to go into a caravan, uh, a camper, it can go into a truck, it can go into a four-wheel drive, because these components can all be set up in different points. So if we're going to do a caravan behind the fridge, the batteries would be at the bottom, then the distribution panel here, and then the inverter is on the top, and the inverter can turn sideways, and it'll fit into that space, for example. And then these plug connectors down here, uh, the cables coming out of them can more or less be any length. And uh, so they can be just plug connected in. So in terms of ease of build, you can put the battery somewhere, run the cable, run the cable, plug and play. Now the screen down here is the fourth item to choose when you put the kit together and you can have the screen. You also have the switches. These are all wireless. They're Bluetooth. Uh, we have them in uh, this flat type. Uh, this can go underneath the sun visor, for example, in a vehicle, and you can operate the lights on the rear of the caravan, as we've shown in other videos. Uh, we also have them in uh, white as well. And then the other parts that communicate with the uh, tank sender here is radar, is Bluetooth. The temperature sensors, the small ruby ones are Bluetooth. So you don't need any wiring from those devices, the tanks, the temperature sensors, to go into the kit. Uh, the kit includes here, if we start off on the right-hand side, this kit here has 24 outputs to do lights and devices, um, of which uh, 16 of those are dimmable, and they can be either on the positive side or the negative side on the dimming. They can also have up to four RGBW lights, and you can also have what we call half bridge for uh, bed lifts and for steps going out where it will reverse the polarity and they will operate out of these as well. That's very uh, popular in the US. Uh, these units are programmable with our smartphone app. Then the user just has to assign the buttons to each of the channels. You can have up to six buttons operating the one output light or device or water pump or oven, whatever it may be. An option here is to have our star power. Our star power is 150 amps max, and it's got 30 amps a channel, so it's quite good. It'll run a single compressor directly in a caravan, for example. It'll also run a 12-volt oven, and it can peak at uh, well over 50 amps for a short period of time. If 24 outputs isn't enough, or uh, you want to put a lot of lights on the roof, then we have our star rover I'm holding up here. Same functionality as these, but only four outputs. And this one here is wireless, but it does have a CAN connection on it as well. And so you can add these in lots of force. And these are good for 15 amps each. And the wireless switches will turn on the lights on, on top of the vehicle or under the vehicle. It's IP67 waterproof. Now to explain the solid state batteries over here, they have a thin wafer going across, there's 16 of them. They're not cells uh, like a conventional battery or prismatics. They're actually flat wafers, solid state. They do have 5% liquid in there, between 3 and 5% liquid. It's really like a wetting agent between the layers. And these are incredibly safe. Uh, they will do 10,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge. Uh, you can overcharge them. You can go to double the voltage. You can crush the battery at 200 kilonewtons. You can drive a nail through the top of the battery, and it will be perfectly safe. You'll see me do the nail through the battery uh, with Brian or Delos at a, at a future date. Uh, we're going to pull one apart and, uh, op and show the safety features of it. What's incredible about it, though, is the BMS that's in there. And it's the same BMS that we had in our media, uh, but I've enhanced it. We've got it in 12 volt, 200 amps, or 48 volts with a 50 amp BMS. Now, these batteries are 212 amp hours uh, at 12 volts. So the two of them together there is 425. If you want to expand, you put another stack in front, or you can put a stack on the top. And if you put another two in there, then you've got 850 amp hours at uh, 12 volt, 10,000 cycles. Uh, you're set for a long, long, long time. The warranty on the batteries is five years. So we do, on all these products here, five years. I think it's double the warranty that uh, Mr. Red Arc offers. Uh, the batteries can be also in 48 volt. So in this setup here, I've got it set up in 48 volt, but it can be in 12. And if it's in 12, then you can have a 3000 inverter here. You don't go to 5000 in 12, it's too much current. If you want to go to the 5000 inverter, you go to 48. But the 5000 inverter in 48 is cheaper, lower price than the 3000 in 12. 
So I always find most people want to go to the 48 because it's just a better value. The batteries there, exactly the same size in 48. So if you're a canopy or a caravan builder, you can buy this kit and select 12 volt instead of 48, change this for the 3000, change the DC to DC here uh, to the 12 volt version, and it looks and is exactly the same size whether you're doing a van in 12 volt or 48 volt, likewise with a canopy, exactly the same setup. The Victron inverter charger here, which we love, most people don't realize it'll do 30% over for 30 minutes, it's 5,000 VA, but because it does 30% over for 30 minutes, it will actually do a full 5,000 watts uh, for 30 minutes. Now let's have a look inside the universal distribution board here. This one here is set up on 48 volt. If it's set up on 12 volt, then the Scotty at the bottom is replaced with either a 50 or a 100 amp uh, Victron DC to DC, the Orion XS. One will go in front, one will go up the back of the chair underneath. So we can get in this tight space here. We can get 100 amp DC to DC, a 50 amp solar controller. Uh, we can even get more solar controllers in if you need them. Uh, we've got the switching here with the two star lights here. They're 12 outputs each, so that's 24 outputs. Uh, this uh, star light could be replaced with a star power. Star power has 150 amps maximum current six channels at 30 amps. So the star power will drive a compressor in a caravan, for example, a 12 volt oven. Uh, it'll, it'll drive many devices in that 30 amp range uh, quite uh, comfortably. And then we've got the Victron turbo at the top and the turbo at the top is picking up the uh, CAN BMS from the batteries and controlling the inverter charger, the solar controller, and also the signals going out to Scotty when it's charging to make sure that the batteries are not charged more than what the CAN BMS dictates. The idea of having these standing up here on these chairs with the clear window in front here is to allow cabling behind here. It also allows us to install uh, a modem behind there to connect through to Starlink or connect through with a SIM card. It allows us to install uh, additional devices if, if uh, required. Uh, we've got space on the board in the uh, back layer. Now the board behind here is uh, made of uh, stainless steel and the reason why we've done it in the folded stainless steel here is that the walls are never entirely flat when we go and install in a four-wheel drive, maybe not even in a caravan. And this stiffness here uh, means that the board at the back is incredibly uh, flat. It means the cover is not going to twist and it keeps everything here in good shape. The distribution block up here that we've got here has got 24 of the 10 amp blocks on it. And I've put in here six of the uh, bigger blocks that would do 30 amps on each of these. These would be six mil cable. And you'll see there's no fuse between here and these two devices. And this is the most significant safety feature of these devices. If there's a short circuit here for any reason, they turn off in 80 millionths of a second. I've done a video on that. Uh, so there's no need for any fuse coming out here at all for these devices. The fuses we have here is we do use a fuse Anderson plug here for the fridge and the bottom one here is for the charging from the alternator. So that's 120 amp DC to DC and running a cable into there or if you wish you can hard wire in here. We can just board here will operate 12 volts in 48 volts with the Scotty here. This will do 48 to 12 with no battery connected. It'll do up to 125 amps, so it'll supply enough power for compressors. You name it in the van, you won't go over 125 amps, but it'll do everything. And then when you start the vehicle, it automatically switches and starts charging the batteries, and that is 1500 watts. Likewise, on the 12 volt DC to DC, as soon as the engine starts up, this turns on automatically and starts charging the batteries at 12 volts. This new technology has an advantage that it's lower in cost and the output of these is both bigger, the technology is better and the products are more affordable than, for example, the Red Arc Pot product. What I'm going to put on the screen now is just to show you the retail price comparison of uh, this kit with 24 outputs versus the Red Arc kits that they sell, which have got 20 outputs on them and you can see what the difference in the retail price is there. The screen down the bottom here is good for 50 outputs, 
six tanks, uh, six temperature sensors, and of course it monitors the inverter charger, the solar, and all the Victron products, and it has modes down there as well. It's wireless, and so that can be placed um, anywhere. So just do a comparison now, just look at the numbers on the screen now, and you'll see how this kit compares to um, the two uh, Red Arc kits that I'm using for uh, comparison. Have to say, how good's that?